Hello, Gemini. I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and start your reading April 5th through the 11th for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've already uploaded your monthly readings and how your person feels towards you. And I will include the links if just in case you have not seen those two and are interested. The links will be in the description box below. Also, the link to the extended will be there as well. Uh, in the extended for the week, we will just see what's going on in your love life and um, who is coming towards you, who is your person. All right, so this will be very general. This particular reading here is just whatever the universe wants you to know. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, 5th through the 11th. One more. All right, we have the star, so that's beautiful. Hope. <laughs> what is this? Someone hiding here. There's hope, but it's being very much concealed, or someone is pretending. There's a lot of burden, burden and guilt. What is this? Let's see. Okay, there's the King of Cups. There's always some water element that always <laughs> affects you, Gemini. Some of you, I'm pretty sure, that are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others, this may be you, your heart, how receptive you are this week. Oh, wow. Oops. The Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands is a challenge there. The Ten of Pentacles, the Foundation, the Five of Swords in the past, but you have love when it comes to your thinking this week. It's new love, new beginnings, we will see. The King of Swords is coming towards you. The Knight of Cups is how you see yourself. The Page of Swords, someone may be watching you here. Uh, the Five of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. Wow. And we have judgment. It's so interesting because I just finished Scorpio as well. And when we started, it was like, oh, what's going on? Let's see. And then they had also the King of Cups. And you have judgment. It doesn't mean that some of you are, are dealing with a water sign. It does not have to do anything. Um, some of you are. Some of you don't have to. But the judgment being... The best possible outcome, this is going to be big. Always when the judgment, it may be a realization, a big shift in your mind. It does not have always to be some type of events, but something here will come to the surface and we will clarify. Now, what is this week? The situation is the King of Cups. We're talking about a person here that has a lot of love, that's very much wants to open up. But there is a challenge here to the, the when it comes to someone's being receptive, uh, whole heart energy, vulnerability. It's, I feel like someone has to overcome obstacles and challenges when it comes to uh, their feelings, when it, it comes to taking control or opening up. That's what the King of Cups is dealing with. It like, feels like, is it a blockage? Do I have to overcome through all of these things? Uh, there's like a guarded energy or a defensive energy. And this is because of some type of situation regarding family, money, or a commitment. That's why I feel like the King of Cups, even if it's being very open, the challenge here that needs to be surpassed has to do with some type of commitment and establishment. In the past, there was um, very much mental conflict. For some of you, remember, there's the Ten of Wands here, which is always a burden. There's been so many things being handled. The Five of Swords, I feel like it may be a mental conflict regarding two people or a certain situation here. Uh, did someone feel like, again, that certain things they had to take advantage of or, you know, there was not a win-win situation? You do have love. The best thing that you see this week is just to offer this cup or, you know, someone to offer this to you, just to open your heart, a new beginning, a new love for some of you, or again, just feeling like, I just want to be guided by my heart. I need the King of Cups here, you or whoever you are, uh, you're dealing with, to kind of uh, offer me this, you know, uh, emotion or to open up. I feel like this is beautiful since this is how you see your, your best possibility this week. Now, what is coming towards you? We went from the King of Cups to the King of Swords. Someone more analytical. It's in your energy. So again, I'm not sure if this is you or whoever you're dealing with. We'll see. But uh, I do not see that these two together go very well. The King of Swords is kind of, remember I said someone was hopeful by pretending. It's trying to kind of like, you know, say, no, I have to think of it logically. That because of the past situation here, whatever the conflict has been. I, it may not be you. It may be how it, certain things come your way here. Because even when it comes to how you see yourself, you see yourself very much as romantic here, ready to take action. This is your weakness. This is your strength. This is your behavior. I really like it because it goes very well, very well with your thoughts for the week. And the King of Cups there. It's all about emotions. 
as I mentioned before, uh, for you this year, it's, it's very important because not only Neptune is in Pisces, which again is challenging your when it comes to your placements in Gemini, but the North Node is there as well. So we're talking about here some, something when it comes to what do you need to realize, where is, is your destiny, who is the person here for some of you, depending it's going to be different for all of you. And that's what judgment is, some type of rebirth or a calling divinely orchestrated type of energy but I really like that this is what you think or what your thoughts are going to be this week and this is how you want to open up just love just action towards love now page of swords this may be what you don't see Gemini like to me it tells me that someone is very curious they're keeping tabs on you they are interested they're watching we will see. You are afraid that because of these challenges here that someone will be left out. There's another five. We have Taurus there. I'm sorry, we have Aquarius there and we have Taurus here. It, I, I just feel like you may be fearing that, no, things are not going to go your way or there's someone that will be left out in the cold. Maybe because of this commitment situation here that you have. I feel like that's a fear of yours. Um, but judgment is saying something here will come. A calling for some of you maybe having a contact. Someone will contact you or there will be this big realization that finally, you know, the heart guides you or your person. But with that judgment, I want to see what the clarifiers are. There will be an awakening type of energy. Oh, the devil here with the two of swords. Someone is stuck. All right, so let's see. What is that king of cups? Come on. The six of wands. It's so interesting because the seven of wands is blocking this. Okay, the king of wands is like, to me, it's someone that wants to declare their feelings. We are talking here about that is very much, I don't want to show, uh, show because it may be like putting on a shore, being very visible, very out there, getting the recognition, getting the rewards. Uh, that's what I feel like the King of Cups is coming this week. Will I get this? Remember that there's a fear of someone being left out in the cold or rejected. And the Six of Wands is always about winning. So it, it is someone winning the heart here, in this case of overcoming successfully the, these obstacles that are on the way. Where are the Seven of Wands, please? Getting the recognition. That's what is coming with the King of Cups. One more. All right. There needs to be some type of compromise. The blockages is, again, are you working with someone? Do you need to come together? There is a lot of pentacles. But the blockages is three people for some of you, or again, it is someone that needs to have some type of compromise together, a meeting, um, goals for the future, working together. I feel like that's where the obstacles is right now. How do we come together, compromise and work and put effort? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? One more. I'm going to get because something fell here. All right, we have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, two people. With this, the Ace of Wands, we have two tens. There's something about marriage commitment going on here. Again, there's this bright new beginning. The Queen of Swords is the counterpart there. It's like two people that are trying to commit or someone here is going through a, a divorce. And they're trying here to find the other half. Like, these are my commitment cards. So there's something about establishment and commitment. And someone here is very much trying to make the best situation regarding this. I see the Queen of Swords in the same counterpart as the King of Swords. Two people that are kind of feeling like, okay, we need to make the best situation logically. We have a lot of emotions being, uh, let me take this, that are involved here. But in the end, there is something about a commitment. Um, and th those are the obstacles and the challenges that these two people that have this passion, this fire, are trying to overcome. What happened with the Five of Swords? Okay, let's see here. Oh my goodness, there's the Ten of Pentacles again. Gemini, couldn't you commit? Couldn't your person commit? Um, were there other issues regarding family in the past? What is going on here? 
a lot of ten, so I feel like a lot about something I had to finish or needs to conclude. One more. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there was a conflict regarding the way someone handled a certain situation regarding family and commitment. They don't want his messages. Did something got in the way of you guys having that relationship together? Or some of you had to work towards something else, go towards your family, travel, distance. This is, again, I'm looking at the whole the collect collective, but I feel like that because of these challenges and someone is trying to overcome those challenges, it's because in the past someone here acted quickly and created a conflict regarding that commitment and family situation. Now you have the Ace of Cups in your thoughts. Let's see why. One more. All right, so you're trying to find the strength to open up your heart. Longing, willpower. It's all about the heart with you with that combination. That's what you see best possible. Strength and willpower to offer this love. Tell me about the King of Swords. One more. Oh my goodness. The King of Swords is at crossroads making a decision. So the immediate situation, someone that is stuck. Well, I feel like in the end, someone will be forced with their judgment um, to kind of purge or to realize what needs to go. At the King of Swords, I feel like he, is, he or she is stuck uh, where they cannot make a decision at the moment. Tell me why you see yourself as the Knight of Cups, Gemini. One more. Oh my goodness, the death card I wanted to see here in the Nine of Pentacles. There's someone here that very much you have feelings for, but with the moon, these are hidden, this is uncertain. I want to clarify the moon. Why is the moon here? One more. Okay, because of the waiting. You have been waiting and this has left you uncertain. The hidden aspect, the not knowing, though you have feelings and you are very much wanting to go towards it, at the same time you're confused. There's something hidden there. Let's see what is this page of swords external to you. One more. Okay, so someone is watching. They have warmth towards you happiness joy there's someone that wants to contact you let's see a little bit more we have leo energy there one more oh my goodness they're stressed um they're stressed and there goes the commitment reunion someone that wants to come very quickly towards you they're watching they're hoping for the best it looks like there's been a little bit hot and cold for some of you with this. But this person wants to reunite. They want to commit with you. They want to come together. And this is constantly, this happiness, this joy is constantly what they think. This is external. This is what you may not be able to see, Gemini. Why you have the five of pentacles in your hopes and fears? One more. The queen of wands. All right, so I feel like, again, someone feels like they will be left out. We have the passionate energy now. Is it you that, again, you feel like someone will not uh, have the same attractive energy here or attraction as you? Is this the person that you want to attract, but you're afraid that they're not going to um, open up, depending who's watching? Remember, the Six of Wands is coming here, which I said that this King of Cups is coming in... Uh, Again, I want this recognition. I want someone to be able here to reward or successfully come towards me, overcome the obstacles and find a way where we both can work together. That's what the Six of Wands is. I, I want to win the person over and be able to, to find common ground together. But because of some type of situation, family commitment here, someone, though I feel like, okay, this is the person that I want, someone is not very open here. And the Queen of Wands is very passionate. So I feel like if is is the same person. You're afraid that again, maybe the the person here, the foundation is not going to open up. So let's see. I want to see that. Uh, let me. I want to see what is this Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. What's going on here? One 
one more. Oh my goodness. So yeah, the Queen of Wands is coming with hope. The hope that we had before. You're feeling that uh, whatever it is, this hope that there is not going to be reciprocated or it, it will be one-sided. So what is the judgment about as the best possible outcome this week? One more. Oh my God, <laughs> the King of Pentacles, what's going on here? Uh, what do we need? So this, the potential is coming from this person. Scorpio had this. I just remember it doesn't have to be. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but you know that we have here Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So uh, as I mentioned, this to me is someone that is very well established. Since we have the Ten of Pentacles twice that we uh, here, we are talking about someone that is very traditional, all about finances and money. So this is the person here that is coming with that contact calling finally realizing what is important that is a renewal in the air there's something new i didn't know if it's something turned but i want to see what is this king of pentacles with judgment one more all right so there's an offer there's a contact there's a message coming in page of pentacles very very practical it may be about money it may be someone that wants to have a deep conversation but this will be an awakening with a judgment let's get two more oops okay some one fell this is something that has been considered for some time this offer four of cups one more and there you are um, with the magician. Okay, so this judgment is being backed up again by this very steady, very much practical approach. Someone has been considering manifesting, waiting. So I feel like this is the best approach. A best approach with the Page of Pentacles is someone that has been studying this for some time. Now, if it is a financial situation, this is beautiful. But if it is someone that you have been waiting to contact, the Page of Pentacles always comes to me as friendly or as someone here that sends a gift, a token. Again, not expressing feelings right away or charging in. It's just something, you know, that has like step-by-step -step, long term goals but mostly it's like a friendship you know developing in more or someone here that wants to work something with you or you with them but it's beautiful again i feel like even if right now whoever is at crossroads is going to unfold in something better for you it's because you have been thinking manifesting this gemini i really hope this resonates with you uh, as usual in the extended we will see what's going on in your love life thank you Bye bye